Welcome to day eight of our novena to the Holy Spirit. Please join us in our opening prayer. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. O Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, I adore you. Enlighten me, guide me, strengthen me, and console me. Tell me what to do, direct my every choice. I promise to submit myself to all you desire of me and to accept all that you permit to happen to me. Let me only know your will. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Romans. More than that, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our heart, hearts through the Holy Spirit who has given to us. Today's meditation. I believe that complete surrender of my life to God is the foundation to serenity. God has prepared us for many mansions. I do not look upon that promise as only referring to the afterlife. I do not look upon this life as something to be struggled through in order to get the rewards of the next life. I believe that the kingdom of God has begun within us and we can enjoy eternal life here and now. Prayer for the day. I come before you on my knees, Lord, for I believe in my heart that you raised Jesus from the dead, and I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord of my life. Lord, you promised that as many as receive you, give them power to become children of God, who are born of God. In surrender to you, I receive you as Lord, and I pray to be filled continually with your Holy Spirit, through Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. Breathe in me, O Holy Spirit, that my thoughts may all be holy. Act in me, O Holy Spirit, that my work too may be holy. Draw in my heart, O Holy Spirit, that I love but what is holy. Strengthen me, O Holy Spirit, to defend all that is holy. Guard me then, O Holy Spirit, that I may always be holy. Come Holy Ghost, creator blessed, and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. O comforter, to thee we cry, thou heavenly gift of God most high. Thy fount of life and fire of love and sweet anointing from above. O finger of the hand divine, the sevenfold gifts of grace are thine. True promise of the Father thou, who dost the tongue with power and endow. Thy light to every sense and heart, and shed thy love in every heart. Thine own unfailing might supply to strengthen our infirmity. Drive far away our ghostly foe, and thine abiding peace be so. If thou be our vent and guide, no evil can our steps be tied. Praise we the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit with them one. And may the Son on us bestow the gifts that from the Spirit flow. Send forth thy Spirit, and they shall be created. And thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Christ Jesus, before ascending into heaven, you promised to send the Holy Spirit to your apostles and disciples. Grant that the same Spirit may perfect in our lives the work of your grace and love. Grant us the spirit of fear the Lord, that we may be filled with loving reverence toward you. The spirit of piety, that we might find peace and fulfilling in the service of God while serving others. The spirit of fortitude, that we may bear our cross with you and with courage overcome the ob obstacles that interfere with our salvation. The spirit of knowledge, that we may know you and know ourselves and grow in holiness. The spirit of understanding, to enlighten our mind with the light of your truth. The spirit of counsel, that we may choose the surest way of doing your will, seeking first the kingdom. Grant us the spirit of wisdom, that we may be aspired to be the things that last forever. Teach us to be your faithful disciples and animate us in every way with your spirit. Amen.